Matt, it's no surprise that Joe Biden announced he was running for re-election. This is a man who spent more than 50 of his 80 years in public office. He wants that second term. But of course, there are questions about his age and his popularity, even among Democrats. And yet no one has challenged him. Why? Because of two reasons. Firstly, challenging an incumbent president from within your own party isn't a good political move. It happened to Gerald Ford, to Jimmy Carter, to George Bush Sr. And all of them eventually lost their re-election bids, partly because their leadership had been questioned. Secondly, Donald Trump. He's the Republican front runner. Joe Biden beat him by 8 million votes last time. He thinks he can beat him again. And so right now it looks like the next election is going to be a lot like the last one. America's culture wars ramped up once more, but still with the same men on the ballot. Four years to the day since he launched his successful bid for the White House, Joe Biden is doing it again. Freedom. Personal freedom is fundamental to who we are as Americans. The president's campaign video released this morning once again speaks of protecting democracy against Republican extremists. But he can't run 2020 all over again. He now has a record to defend. And the recurring question of should the oldest man ever in the Oval Office be running again? He's been a good president and the country is better off. And he's going to have a strong argument he can make to the American people about why he deserves re-election. 70% of Americans don't want him to run again, including 51% of Democrats. So I think that's an, an interesting choice. Please raise your right hand. Biden came into office promising to overcome the COVID pandemic and use his political experience to get Washington working again. OK, here we go. He passed a huge infrastructure bill as well as major climate change legislation but only a third approve of how he's handling the economy. Well, the number one sell is that we're better off than we were. And then when he came in, we were in the middle of COVID and a rancorous time in our politics and the country was struggling. And I think that we're now far better off. Is that, is that not a hard sell though? Because there are still a number of Americans who aren't as positive about the economy. Yeah, no, there's no question that he's got work to do. Something Biden can't change is his age. If he wins re-election, he'll be 86 when he leaves office. His team argue that hasn't affected his ability to govern. Yet among the Americans who don't want him to run, many raise his age as a stumbling block. Honestly, I think he's a little old to run again. I think that he is not, hasn't had the mental capacity to run our country. I think he should run again because he did represent people of my color. You're not concerned about whether the Democrats need a younger face? In the future, yes, um, but I believe Kamala uh, will come up behind. He might be too old for a second term, but I also think if he's our best case as a Democrat and that's who ends up, you know, winning that seat, then I would support him. How do you play the bind and age issue? I don't know that you necessarily need to play it as a Republican because it's very evident. Remember in 2020, he mostly campaigned out of a basement. This time when he's going to have to be going out um, and holding rallies and talking to voters in a much more kind of it, um, enthusiastic way than he did last time. But the Biden team will point to his wins at the ballot box, not just in 2020, but the strong midterm results last November, where protecting women's rights against Republican efforts to ban abortion helped mobilize their voters. For many voters, it's the gateway. It's the way they understand about Republican extremism. And it wasn't just the ending of Roe. It was the abortion restrictions that were passed in the states that are, in many ways, in my view, barbaric. And, and so I think this issue continues to be a big problem for Republicans. And Donald Trump looks set to be their nominee for a third time in a row. So this could be a 2020 rematch, the same choice between two men who are both unpopular. If, if it was Biden-Trump again... Oh, God. <laughs> what, 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 what do you think that would say about America if it's a, a rerun? Um, I think it would be scary. I, I wouldn't be excited about casting a vote for either of them. Been there, done that. Um, I think we should get new people with new ideas. It sounds like you're not particularly um, inspired by any of the politicians on offer at the moment? Not right now, no. Presidential elections usually look forward, but these last few have felt like Americans are still fighting over past disputes. If 2024 is 2020 all over again, can America weather another bitter battle led by two men in their twilight years?